Hi everyone. So, good wedding night, everyone. Today we have two weddings. <laughs> so here we are. So just wanted to say before everything uh, that I have been watching in the um, in the um, social media uh, in my social media that there has been. Uh, different comments uh, of uh, of people that are like saying bad things, horrible things, and fighting against not only me but also all the people. Um, so uh, I checked on the on 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 the on those users, and they are um, fake profiles. So they have nothing. They don't have information. They don't have anything. They just do these accounts just to criticize and to put bad things okay just if if uh, i block them so um so they don't bother but if i just wanted to say this because if someone writes to you uh, or or someone is doing is writing bad things so usually there are these fake accounts okay so don't put any on them and that's it so for today, the information is uh, extroversion and introversion. Hmm? So in the book, I, I explain it uh, a lot. So if you have any, <clears throat> uh, if you have any um, question or want to go more deep in details, so you can go in the blog. So I will try to make a summary. <laughs> Everyone knows that to make a summary is not my thing. So first of all, to understand this, let's remember the origin of these two words. So extroversion and introversion comes from the word, the first one, ex and in. Ex means inside. <clears throat> the word tra, means between okay so extra it's between what it's outside and intra is between what it's inside okay so version is the is comes from versus which is to turn to turn back to uh to bend okay so um so extra version would mean would mean to to bend to turn what you have inside towards the outside in relation with the outside and um uh and introversion is to turn everything that is outside within towards inside okay <clears throat> that's the simple explanation of this so basically what we call an extrovert person would be that person that is able to connect with the others that is willing to talk with the others that knows how to treat the people in the world and um and the introvert person would be the one that prefers to be with itself um alone quiet no related with anyone in the outside so this is why we have the extrovert and the introvert as a duality, as two different things that are separate and against each other. This process of extroversion and introversion would be, would be something related as the heartbeat going out and going in. So this is like a heartbeat of, this, of the soul, like the, like the beat of, um, of this heart of energy that is moving towards the outside to touch the information of the whole world, to be in contact with everyone, okay? That's the beat out of the heart of the soul. And in the opposite, the soul is going to contact, to contact with herself within, okay? So when we see these two concepts as going out and going in like the heartbeat of the soul, 
we will understand that these two are not different things, that these two are not um, concepts that are against each other, separated from each other, but they are of a mechanism of the organism of the soul. Okay, so it's something natural that helps the universe work. So remember that um, that we have uh, spoken about this many times before, that the universe is a constant wave of vibration. So in the shape of the wave of vibration, we have positive wave and the negative wave that constantly move the energy of the universe. So we can call the positive one like the extrovert and the negative one the um, the introvert. Hmm? That what does this mean? That um, that this is a inevitable pulse of creation. Okay, is a constant. According to this, we have to recognize that this is how the soul expresses and moves in the universe. So we have to remember that usually we picture the soul as kind of a ghost, something that it has our shapes, but is more um, transparent, transparent. Um, so, um, so we kind of uh, picture the soul, something like that. But f from the point of view of, um, from the point of view of the universe, uh, the soul is energy, basically that. Hmm? So um, it doesn't have a specific shape. The light, for example, the energy of the universe is moving through this wave of positive and negative. So this is why the light moves like that in kind of a shape of a spiral. Hmm? So in this movement, in this movement, um, is how we could imagine the soul. This is why we could picture the soul more the shape of the kundalini than a ghost okay um, the, the picture that we have to understand about the soul is that the soul is not something uh, specifically poetic or emotionally uh, emotional as we can imagine it but the soul of the universe is the energy expanding and moving around uh, this is why we, we uh, in, in English you say soul, um, I don't know the origin of the word soul, uh, but, uh, but you have the word soul in, in Latin, in the word anima and animal, okay? Uh, so animal or animated, uh, these words, these words come from the origin of the idea of the soul, which means something that moves. Okay, in in the Latin word anima, animal, means something that is moving. So soul is related with that concept, with the movement of things. So something that moves in the universe is, uh, is the soul. So when we call the soul of the cosmos, the soul of the universe, is when we speak about something that is moving out and moving in. So this is the heartbeat of um, of the cosmos. So when we say the heartbeat of the soul, we are talking about energy expanding and contracting once and again. Okay, that that would be. And um, this is the way in which we perceive the chakras, which is a spiral spinning out and in, out and in. Okay. Extroversion and introversion are the two processes of the soul in order to understand the world outside and the world within. <clears throat> the first step of the soul is to express outside because the energy of the universe needs to experience, to touch each one of the perceptions that is in the outside. After this, what we do is to put all the different parts together inside so we could give it a sense, a meaning, a logic as a whole. So that's the process of introversion. So in the past days, we have been speaking about the concepts that the, the being is doing with the parts and the, and the conjunction of the parts. And now we are trying to understand 
the process of the soul doing this disintegration of the concepts. The extroversion is the process from which the soul is trying to acknowledge the information of the present, living the present. And then the introversion is the process when I try to give a meaning, a purpose of, to that present by the ideas of the past and the future. So this is why the people that is introvert usually <coughs> is, uh, is people more connected with the philosophical, with the big um, perception of the reality, uh, thinking about more in the future ahead than the people that is extrovert living here and now. So uh, also, um, our civilization today, our society, usually is more uh, extrovert, uh, extroverted people because basically societies were born because of extroversion, because society are made up of connection. So people must be connected. We need to share things in a society. So this is why um, the society needs extroversion in order to be connected and sharing stuff. So that's why the society thinks that introversion is something wrong. It's like a mistake in the system hmm? that what you need to do is to be uh, extroverted in order to be part of the society. What I wrote today in the blog is that uh, the introverted people usually are people that change humanity because they are able to think more uh, in terms of, of time. So um, they can uh, solve, bring solutions in long term, okay? N not in short terms like the extroverts. Um, so uh, this is why they usually change more society. So one of the conflicts that we have today also is that usually the introvert people people is trying is losing a lot of energy and focus in what they are supposed to do because they are losing uh, they are wasting the energy trying to be ext extroverts because society says you have to be uh, extrovert. Uh, so um, so this is one of the problems we have. The real thing is that we cannot be 100% one and 100% other thing because we should be both of them in balance because when we are only extroverted people, we are chaotic people and when we are only introvert people, we are so structured that we are allow ourselves, allowing ourselves to change. We have to understand that this projection of um, extroversion and introversion should be like the seasons in our planet. Spring, summer, autumn, uh, winter, the four. Uh, we can take that like summer as the highest point of extroversion and winter as the lower point, uh, as the higher point of introversion. So. Um, uh, the earth basically do that like try to in winter tries to understand the process and to hold the energy to understand everything that was expressed in the summer in the extroversion process so this is why it's so important that we start to um, to respect uh, the extroversion process and introversion process of others but also both processes in our in ourselves by our own life so remember that this is the heartbeat of the soul so when one is going there to look for information the other one is receiving and um and understanding all that information so the alignment for today will be to try to balance, to put in, set the intention to balance these two different processes uh, in ourselves.
Hmm? So I'm going to read the information for today. The vibration for today is phi. The statement for today is I am the flux of love. So the code for today, the information is duality. And it says, duality is the projection that we call duality. What lies in the particle, it's real, and what it's projected from it is an illusion. It's the eye and the light that allows him to see served. The positive and the negative, up and down, inside and outside, feminine and masculine, time and space. All existence to exist needs the concept of duality as a reference for perspective and experimentation. For two forces are needed to generate tension and friction, energy and action. So we sit comfortable, we stretch the body, start to yawn. Relax the body. Take a deep breath and perceive the air inside your body spinning, filling your body empty, only a twister of wind. I perceive the air outside connecting with the air within. Take a deep breath and perceive the energy, the soul, starts to move within the body, spinning with the wind in a colorful dance, expanding throughout the skin, spinning like a twister around with the colors of a rainbow all my soul expressing around and within perceive the light of the sun of the i am above you and put your hands at the high of your heart facing the sky Feeling the light. Take a deep breath and perceive the light of the I am coming through the crown, and the third eye, the throat, and anchoring in the heart with a beautiful green light. I perceive the heartbeat expanding the green light all around myself, all around my body. And this expansion starts to fill, to fill up my hands with this beautiful green emerald. I perceive and become aware of the heartbeat of my soul expanding 
in every direction. So like this, I acknowledge in one hand all the moments of extroversion of my life and in the other hand all those moments of introversion in my life. Both of them are the heartbeat of my soul. Take a deep breath and become aware that I need the balance of both of them in order to create. Both of them are the eternal energy that I call love. I take my hands to my heart, unifying my extroversion and introversion as one unique force. And through my vibration, I activate this unique force. I am the flux of love. I am the flux of love. I am the flux of love. Take a deep breath. I feel all the energy of love of my soul out and inside of myself. And with my hands, softly, I start to bring this energy of love throughout all my body by caressing, massaging, stretching and yawning. And when I feel ready, I start coming back here and now by opening my eyes. So, um, as always, thank, thank you for everything and um, just as a reminder, I would recommend for you to read before the blog so you have more information uh, during my um, explanations here. So, as always, drink a lot of water and rest um, to assimilate the information and as always see you tomorrow for at the same time for the plexus <laughs> and i say goodbye with the five percent of three <laughs> bye